Ah, the Armed Forces Bowl, as we'll take a look at uh, Missouri and Army here. Army opens up as a three-point favorite, 60 and a half uh, for the total here. This is on December the 22nd, 8 o'clock at night. So, Ralph, uh, kick us off here uh, with this uh, Army team coming off of that uh, actually uh, amazingly great game against uh, Navy, very entertaining from a viewership standpoint. Can they bounce back here? Well, sure they can. They're a military academy playing in the Armed Forces Bowl. If you look at Navy and Tex and, and uh, Army's records when they play any game in Texas, they have a lot of military bases there. They get a big following. It has been excellent. And let me just remind people, I mean, for, for, the, 90, for the 90s, 2000s, if a military team is in a bowl period, you're either playing them or you're passing the game. Army, 4-1 and one ATS, their last five bowls. The only bowl game they did not cover was a seven-point win in a non-cover. Air Force, 5-2, and two, their last seven bowl games. Navy has covered six straight bowl games. That's a 15-3 and three record. Why? Because you have kids that are militarily trained, who do not get caught up in the pageantry, who are absolutely focused on every game, against a team that doesn't want to worry about cut blocking, who has to practice against the option, and it's something you only see on irregular basis. But remember this, you have an SEC team with 10 times the talent Army has as far as high school recruits. SEC dogs, 10 and two the last five years. I mean, you're playing on the best conference and you're getting them as a dog. There's a lot to be said with that. I like the over here, but I, I'm going to make it a slightest of leans right now because as I pulled up the weather in Fort Worth on December 22nd, it's going to be 68 degrees, but the winds right now are showing 15 miles an hour. If those winds get up to 20 or more, I clearly would lean with Army being able to run the ball against a Missouri team that has allowed 5.5 yards per carry and 229 yards per game. Can Missouri's offense move it against Army? Sure they can. I mean, Wake Forest put up 638. Western Kentucky put up 477. Army's played one of the weakest schedules there is against a very weak slate of offenses. If the winds die down, I'll be on the over. I can't give it out as a best bet yet. It's one of those wait till we get a closer weather forecast and we'll see which way I'll go. All right. Uh, what do you think here, uh, Teddy? How are you looking at this uh, this Army squad going up against the SEC? Uh, I'm not playing Army. <laughs> uh, and and, and Ralph, Ralph makes strong points about how the service academies tend to be bet-ons in these bowl games. We got to put a caveat on that for this one. All right. Again, they played last week, and they play an early bowl game. So in terms of bowl prep, Missouri full prep, Army limited prep. Makes a difference. We talk about units that underachieved this year. And going into the season, there was a lot of, not a lot, there were reasonable expectations for that Missouri defense under first-year coordinator Steve Wilkes. And the defense underachieved for extended stretches this year. They played better down the stretch. And now they have a one-dimensional foe that they can focus on for three weeks. I would not be surprised to see Missouri play their best defensive game of the year against Army. Ralph talked about the trends for SEC underdogs. That's strong when you talk about a 10-2 and two ATS a run for SEC dogs. And we saw what happened with Army as a favorite against a team that's prepared for them the last time they played when Navy beat them straight up. I think the Tigers are the value play here at plus four. It's the only way I can look. All right, looking at the SEC, uh, what do you think, uh, Dave? You worried that Army won the or uh, played the game they wanted to play, or you think they're uh, prime for bounce back here? No, they'll, they'll be ready to play. They're always ready to play. I mean, Todd Munkin's been there for uh, Jeff Munkin rather has been there for what eight years now. Has Army never have they ever had a game where they're not ready to play? The guy's a great coach. Um, Army hasn't beaten anybody. But they did play a really respectable game at Wisconsin. Lost by six. Uh, they beat a bowl team in Western Kentucky. Not this level, obviously. Uh, they, uh, they had a wild game with Wake Forest. where they, they did put 56 on the board. Still lost the game. They beat Air Force. 
which was impressive. They beat Liberty, which which isn't bad. <sighs> I'm not laying points with Army because the athleticism on the other side is it, it, there's just no comparison. And as Teddy mentioned, Missouri did play much better defense down the stretch. Uh, they had a couple of really good games defensively down the stretch. So they seem to be getting better at the end of the season. I don't want to lay points with Army, so I can't play it. Uh, if it was Missouri was three, I'd take Army, but not at the present number. So I'll just I'll just stay out of it, I guess. And uh, to me, it's an easy pass. So we got a uh, Independence going up against Power Five since 1997. Just uh, five and 17 straight up in those bowl games, guys. So. We'll see what uh, we'll see what Army can do up against the SEC in that one.